What is going on YouTube family? Should go right back to you guys with another video. I promised you guys videos and guess what? I'm back in. I have had more recent things happening. Obviously, um, my weight loss has been like the biggest thing that's been happening to me um, recently. And I am actually very excited to share with you guys my weight loss journey. You will see in the description box below of my um, transformation from 275 pounds to 190 at that time. I did make a video not so long ago of my weight loss journey with uh, me being currently at 175 pounds. So I've officially lost 100 pounds, which I'm extremely excited about. I can't even say it. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. The biggest thing that people keep asking me is how did I do it? Why did I do it? How long did it take me? Did I have um, difficulties doing it? Like, as far as losing the weight? And did I um, find any challenges that might have still been hindering me today? If you guys have any more questions, please link them below in the comment section and I'll go ahead and answer them on my next video. Number one question is, how much weight have you lost? I've already answered that in the beginning of this video. Um, in total, I've lost 100 pounds. And it took me about a year to lose the weight. The weight was definitely one of the biggest challenges I've ever had in my life. Uh, not only did I just lose it, And it was due to my weight gain. At that time, I my body had pretty much shut down. I was not able to use the restroom on my own. I wasn't able to do anything on my own. So my body pretty much just gave up on me. So I had to really fight my way to get healthy um, or healthier. The next question you guys typically ask me is, was it hard to lose weight? Yes, of course it's hard to lose weight. It's not easy for, well, for some people it's easy to lose weight. For me, myself, it was not easy for me to lose weight. Uh, I definitely had uh, my vices, which was my meals. When I ate my junk food, my chips, my beverages, I was a, or is a, potatoes, all types of potatoes, french fries, baked potatoes, scalloped potatoes, um, southern potatoes, like mashed potatoes. I love potatoes. Potatoes are my biggest thing. Potatoes, bread, and chips are one of my biggest, 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 biggest thing. I love chips. I don't know what is it about chips, but I am obsessed with the crunch. I love chips. So that definitely was one of the biggest things I had to pretty much cut in order for me to be at the weight I am now. The next question was, how did I lose the weight? Um, in the beginning of my journey, I actually started off using Fentramine. And if you guys don't know what Fentramine is, I will actually do another video on that, but I've already done a video on it, so go ahead and click the link below. I have a couple videos I want you guys to watch as far as um, what I talked about as far as Fentramine. But if you guys want an up-to-date video on Fentramine, please let me know in the comment section. Fentramine was one of the biggest things that actually helped me to lose my weight. Losing the weight by myself was just not something that came easy as I said already, um, but Fentramine definitely helped me to speed up the process of losing the weight. I did use Fentramine up until maybe four months ago, maybe three or four months ago, uh, I stopped using Fentramine, but I didn't use Fentramine consistently throughout the entire journey or throughout my entire journey. I used it a lot in the beginning, then I took a break from it um, for personal reasons. I'll do a video on that later about why Fentramine is yeah <laughs> I'll give you guys another video on that because Fentramine was something else and I will go every two months to go get weighed in with my doctor which you're supposed to anyway um and then after that um I after the six or seven month mark I took like a little month or two break and then I went back on Fentramine but um I didn't use Fentramine as prescribed prescribed is using it every day i would hit and miss days after the six months because i just i didn't like the way it was treating my body and like i said i'll do another video on that later on but Fentramine is um you have to be, you have to be prepared in order to want to take Fentramine. Fentramine is not something that you just wake up and say i want to take Fentramine is something that you have to know what you're taking why you're taking and be prepared for the side effects working out did i work out of course i worked out um throughout my internal journey i have hi baby this is my son. This is my baby boy, three. Oh, my baby. Hi, honey. How you doing, handsome boy? Hi, baby. You want to film my mommy? Hmm? Hi, honey. My 
homie loves you so much. And he gives the cutest little hugs. He really does. See, he always puts his arms around his mommy. Oh, baby. I love you. Can mommy film now? Can I put you down? Hmm? Can I put you down a little? Hmm? You smell my lips, huh? They smell like something you're not used to makeup, huh? Um, yes, his name is Three. Like the number three. It's not spelled three. It's actually a number. That's his name. No, baby, come on. Um, I did work out. So throughout my entire journey, I became actually a personal trainer. So I am a personal trainer now. I am also a health and fitness coach, which I'm so excited to actually share that with you guys as well so i do personal train people my clients um i have personal trained celebrities actually um if you have been following me you would know that um and i'm really excited guys this is just something that has been a big part of my life and i'm actually very excited to know that people are actually really enjoying my journey and enjoying seeing me transform into the woman i'm becoming now my original goal was 160 pounds which i still have a goal of 160 pounds but that's not the end goal for me i still want to lose at least at least 20 more pounds so i want to be about 150 150 pounds 20 25 pounds 150 pounds where my my stop goal is 150 140 that's my goal people are just saying you're gonna get too skinny but that is this to help me is for me to feel good and if i start to looking if i start to feel like i'm looking a little bit too skinny around 150 160 then i'll go ahead and stop but that'll be on my end on my discretion not you guys discretion i do appreciate you guys opinion on it but it's to make myself feel better i, I work out every day uh some people are saying that's a little bit too excessive but it's a difference between it's a difference between working out every day and training every day i don't train every day i work out every day and when i work out every day it does not consist of hardcore workouts every day it consists of probably just doing a treadmill um going on the stairmaster it could be just me just doing a little bit of squats or it could just be me just going and doing some um static stretching it could be doing different things it doesn't have to be training training is when you go hard so i don't train every day i work out every day and if i do on a typical week i work out about six days a week i take about one day off now there will be weeks where i'm just like oh i'm just too tired and i'll probably take two days off but i don't go past two days of taking off for uh, working out so that's it with that the last question that you guys have been asking me is why did i lose weight i kind of touched on it already but i lost weight because i was very very sick my family has a history of being extremely obese and i just did not want to fit into that category of being obese and making that my excuse as to why i'm actually overweight and heavy so um i am choosing to or i chose to go the healthier route and to be healthy with myself because my family is very unhealthy and just because they're unhealthy does not mean that i have to be unhealthy so i am choosing to be healthy and to be the strongest the strongest woman i could possibly be for myself my family has a lot of health issues they have diabetes um, heart issues they have brain issues they have all types of problems and it's a lot of it's because of the way that they eat and the way they don't take care of themselves i refuse to be you know a beautiful black woman and being in a hospital or having all these health issues because i was just too lazy to take care of myself so before the problems come i'd rather take care of them now so this is why i'm trying to fight them before it actually happens i'm trying to be the smarter one of my family tree and my family line to be honest with you so that's it guys that was just all the questions you guys have been asking so yes, guys, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram. Um, my Instagram is actually going to be right here. It's going to be I am Ray Simone. Please follow me on Instagram, guys. You guys can see my journey. I am trying to build my Instagram as well as my YouTube channel. So if you guys actually want to see different videos, please let me know. And let me know what you guys want me to talk about in my next video so I can go ahead and post it. All right, guys. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys later.